My name's Mandy, I'm senior staff nurse in the Fratch Clinic. And my name's Faz and I'm an auxiliary nurse in the clinic. This video is intended to demonstrate how to look after a person with a cast in situ. That the length of the cast enables the person to move all joints, not encased. Please observe whilst we check this. That the cast is well padded at both ends and no sharp edges can be felt which may cause sores. Are the fingers or toes or other joints exposed swollen at all? If they are swollen and sensation is altered, seek medical advice. The cast may need simply easing or splitting. Is there any localised heat or staining on any area of the cast? This could be a sign of a blister, sore or wound infection. Seek medical advice. This may require a window cutting over that area to check the skin. Arms and legs need elevation whilst in a cast. I'm just going to give you some instructions on how to take care of your cast. The cast takes an hour to dry. If it gets too tight or too loose, you need to let us know. Don't get it wet, perk anything down it. Um, the main thing you need to do is keep it elevated. Elevated higher than your bottom. When you elevate, you need to make sure that your heel's free so there's no pressure. If you get cramp in your calf, increase pain that's different to the pain you've already got. Pins and needles that are constant don't go off with elevation pain relief. You must get in touch with us straight away. Um, you need to keep wiggling your toes, moving your knee and your hip as normal. I'll give you all the instructions written down in our leaflet there. That's for you to take. It's got our number in there um, and accident emergencies phone number. While she's in the hospital, if there's any information that you need, you can always find it on the intranet under patient leaflets. that the length of the cast enables the person to move all joints, not encased. Please observe whilst we check this. This cast is too long and may restrict movement and cause sores and requires trimming by an orthopaedic nurse or a doctor. Check that the cast is well padded at both ends and no sharp edges can be felt which may cause sores. This cast is over padded and may be loose also creating sores. Are the fingers, toes or other joints exposed swollen at all? If they are swollen and sensation is altered seek medical advice this cast may need simply easing or splitting. The fingers in this cast are squashed and may become swollen. Movement is restricted. This needs trimming by an orthopaedic nurse. Like all casts, this cast needs checking. If you have a removable cast, it may be held in place with velcro straps or bandages. The doctor or nurse will inform you when the cast can be removed. To remove, undo the straps or bandages. Spread open the flexible section of the cast using your hands and lift the limb free. Reverse this procedure to reapply. Cast can be removed for checking skin integrity. For exercising, either with physiotherapy or at home. Wounds can be also checked on. The cast can also be removed for bathing and showering purposes.
the procedure to reapply make sure the straps bandages are firmly fastened do not stop wearing your cast until your doctor has said it is safe to do so We hope you found this video informative. For any more information that you require, please contact the Fracture Clinic at Hull Royal Infirmary. Thank you.